Hi and welcome, I'm Paul and I'm Marie and we are a UK reselling couple based in Hampshire and this is our charity shop video. <laughs> We've got a bit of a charity shop haul for you. We have one. We have. It's over We've, a couple of days, I think, isn't it? We've it is. We've gathered I'm, all this tat. I'm, fortunately, I'm sorry, there's no footage again. No, <laughs> spare we're, we're sort of in and out sometimes, aren't we? And um, it's just, um, yeah, we, we, we sometimes do it quite quickly, don't we? Yeah, we um, um, so We do blanket bomb an area, we do. <laughs> don't we? And try and see as yeah, many as possible. So but, we are um, quite swift in the charity shop. We are quite shops. swift, yes, that's it. But this is a Saturday charity shop. When we drop Emily off at dancing, we have about three hours to um, have a, a bite to eat, shall we yes, say? Yes, a bite. And um, we have a quick look in about four charity shops. Uh, yeah. And then we went to Basingstoke on the Wednesday um, and had a look round um, only a handful. Yes, we have yeah, gathered well, quite a lot of tap, haven't we, this week? We've gathered a few bits, yeah, definitely. You're going to start us off? So I'll start, yeah. Go on, my love. Well, I know what you're going to choose. I knew you'd go for that. That's the first thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> They're all switched off now. I like the fact you're still doing it. I know. <laughs> I'm doing it softly. Very good. You're just trying to show you if you've got rhythm. Yeah, yeah, that's it. It's lovely. It's a mm -hmm. uh, single bongo drum. Um, yeah. It's nice, nice it? seems nice in nice thick. condition. It mm. uh, seems well made. It's uh, it's lovely. Um, it was two pounds that we paid for it, and um, we're going to be putting this one up for eighteen ninety nine. We've sold a few bungo. We sold a few. Um, I keep saying so bungle, <laughs> bungo <laughs> drum, bongo drum. They all sell quite quick as well, my love. I mean, they do. They seem to sell quite well. Um, sort of thinking we'd get between about fourteen and sixteen ish, probably. Yeah. So whenever, Realistically. Whenever I see them now at a boot sale or anything like that, charity shop, I'm always... Ooh. You're homing in on them, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, so, um, yeah, we've, we've seemed to have done reasonably well with them. But, uh, so... Is it my turn? It's your I turn. So you, one of the cutest things that I thought from the day was this. It's a bamboo apple trinket box. Very detailed. Got a little bit of damage on the top. I think it should have had... Um, uh, four of these, but one of them is sort of missing, isn't it? Oh, one of them's yeah. got a bit of damage there. Mm. Can you see my nails? Emily wanted to do my nails last night when we were watching Strictly. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm all girly today. Um, anyway, back to work. The <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's a lovely vintage sort of um, apple-shaped mm. trinket box. But we paid 50p mm. and we will put it up for 12 99 Probably get around about a tenner, honey, if we're lucky. Yeah, yeah, around about a tenner. Or oh, I could suppose. keep it. You could keep it if <laughs> you want to keep though, it. gorgeous though, isn't it? Gorgeous. No, we need to sell it. Sell it. Yeah. Lovely. Lovely. Right. Oh, we're saying the yeah, same we words now the same as well as wearing the same colour again. No, okay. Who so have I'm you got here. then? Now, what's his name? It's Perry the Platypus. Perry the Platypus. And Phineas and Ferb. That's right. Emily used to watch it. We used to watch it. Didn't we have a good old laugh? We did. We did like it. I think this is a Disneyland Paris one, hum. Is it? So that's it's always right. nice, isn't it, when they come from the parks? Oh, yeah, it is, yeah. Know you see that, really, to be honest. But, um, good condition. But yeah, it's in very good condition. Um, we paid £2, and um, he's going to go up for eighteen ninety nine. Yeah, he's a white cutie. Some of these plushes, they've got a, you know... They've got some good fair, value, fair, haven't they? Good value on them, so that's good. So I'm going to go for something that I spotted in the shop and got quite excited about because I do love vintage things. Mm. And um, I had my glasses on, so I knew this was quite old. I could actually <laughs> see it. I think they're from the early 80s, or 81. It says 78, but it's also got 81 on it. Um, and it's a ceramic um, Garfield in its, in its original box, um, spoon rest. Mm. Well, this is 1978 on the back. Okay. So... Um, it's gorgeous. That's it's all cool, in really good condition. No damage for 1978. It's probably mm. been kept in this box for most of I would its have life. So yeah. Um, but we paid a pound for it, a whole pound. A home. whole pound. And um, I've looked all over the, um, the internet. This is from <clears> a range <throat> called Garfield Loose in the Kitchen. So they did a whole range of things, um, but haven't found one exactly the same. <coughs> um, so it's a bit of a guess. But I think with that sort of thing, all you can do is aim high and. 
wait for that right person to come along and offer you something that you're happy with. Yeah. So we only paid a pound and we are putting up for twenty nine ninety nine. Um, that's purely based on other items that are sort of similar, mm. but as I say, we haven't found any of these on um, sold, so it's a, a bit guessy, but we'll see how we get on. See how we get on, yeah. So we'll yeah, let you know how we get on with that. Mm. So that's that one. What okay. have you got? Me, I'm going back here, and we've got... What is this? This is, hun, this is a mm. hay pig's guinea pig circus. Right. Yes, you heard right. It's a, a guinea, guinea pig, pig circus. circus. <laughs> I know. But it's a very good quality when you it look is. at it. It is. I mean, it feels lovely. It comes with these two mats for your guinea pig. And this gorgeous circus tent. Um, yeah, it's all got tags on still. But they sell, um, one of the tags is the ad admit one. It's like a little um, admission oh, a um, ticket, ticket for the something. guinea pig oh, to get okay. in. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite oh. cute, isn't it? Um, but online, hun, these are selling, or these are on Amazon, for twenty four ninety nine. No. They are. Really? I know. I thought you'd be chuffed. Yeah, When I spotted chuffed. it in the shop, I thought, oh, that's a bit unusual. But like it is. Unusual. It looks like it's never been used, really, yeah. isn't it? Because it's, it's all it's tagged and everything. Excellent, like excellent condition. So, yeah, probably, like I say, it's probably, isn't it? Um, so, two pounds we paid for two it. Pounds. And we're going to put it up for nineteen ninety nine. Yeah, when something's new like this with tags, we always sort of underprice it. A little bit, don't we? Because we yeah. obviously want ours to sell. Yes, um, we yeah. can't compete on things like the postage with Amazon, but we can. No. We can compete a little bit on price. So that's how that's we it. tackle it. Yes, and it's, it'll be nice to you know you can if you paid quite cheap for it, then um, you know quick flip. Yeah, and uh, hopefully it'll fly out before, before Christmas. Fingers crossed. Oh, fingers crossed. I've got another Garfield item. I think whoever when we went in this shop, there was three Garfield items in total. And they priced them all um, for a pound. So this is the same range, Garfield Loose in the Kitchen. And this is a, um, a kitchen, they've called it a kitchen tidy. It's a sort of um, thing that you put your scouring pad in next to the sink. So it's ceramic. Um, it's gorgeous though. From 1978 again. Yeah, again 1978 yeah. or 1981. It's got two years on there. <laughs> one of, it's going to be one of those. One of those. It's, um, uh... But it, yeah, no damage at all, hun. Mm. So, um, as I say, rare, haven't seen it online at all, um, not on Google or anything. So, um, it was a pound, we'll put it up for 29.99 and wait until we get someone who yeah. offers us a, a price that we're happy with, I suppose. It's, yeah, that's it. Just don't know, do you, with these? It isn't, it's really difficult guessing if you don't have anything it's, to base yeah, it on. Yeah, that's it, that's the problem. And sometimes you do have to just guess, hope you've got it right. Yeah. Um, if not... You know, you'll get some offers in and I'm sure it will find its price. And you'll I mean, just keep dropping it down until you do find it. That's price. it. These were sort of based. The price is roughly based on some salt and pepper ceramic um, items mm. from the same range. So, yeah. Oh, okay. Fairly rare. Fairly so we'll see. rare. Yeah. We'll see how we get on. What have you got? Here. I think his name's Sully. Sully, I think it is, yes. <coughs> sure it is, yeah. Um, it'd probably be on his tag, wouldn't it? Now this is a, the, in the shop hunt, they had a bigger one for £5 and I didn't know whether to get it or not, you know, when you're oh, like, oh, right. some of these bigger ones are worth a lot and some aren't. Yeah. So I sort of did it about, so I just got this one. This is from Disneyland Paris. It is. Um, yeah, um, we paid £3 for it. Lovely condition. It is good condition. Very nice I wonder if the same person donated yeah. the same toys, I don't know. Yeah. Did I say what price we paid? <laughs> I don't know if you did. Three pound we paid. We've only just said it. <laughs> We're going to be putting them up for eighteen ninety nine. This what what happens when you get a bit older is um, you'll say something and then two seconds later you tend instantly to forget. forget it. <laughs> but yeah, no, he's in excellent condition and I'm sure it'll go well. So what have I got? So I'm going to do a third Garfield thing, slightly different, but it must have been the same person collecting them. This is a Garfield bubble bath, so it's plastic. Like a bubble bath container. container yeah. I didn't know what to do on this one, hun, because I, I couldn't realistically price it the same as a boxed no. item. So what I've sort of done is um, it was a pound and I'm putting eighteen ninety nine on it in the hope that we can get around the fourteen, fifteen pound mark. Yeah. Whether it's worth that or not, I don't know, <laughs> but it's the same sort of age, late late seventies, early eighties. So Yeah. He's quite cute, we'll see what comes of it, hun. Hair on him. Oh <laughs> that's extra. Extra. <laughs> Lovely, so that's me done. That's cool. And I have... Ooh, oh, no. Oh. 
He's gone up. The one that was staring at us oh, has gone off. and I've flicked his bit of paper off as well. <laughs> what is his paper? Right. I've got it written down here, hon. So I'm don't not, worry. I'm the camera as well. I've got to go and go around and get it. But. Anyway, you do we'll go with this do one. Do the carrots first. <laughs> We've got the, um, the um, what are their names? Kevin? Kevin? I don't know what their names are, but oh, it's right. the Kevin the Carrot Range, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's Lidl. right, from our... Oh, so it's Jasper Baby or something it's on not, the front there. It's not Lidl. Did I say Lidl? I thought you said Lidl. Oh, I don't know. I could have done. Oh. Both just Aldi. forgot it. <laughs> <laughs> People are going to start thinking we need help soon. Yeah, that's it. Um, <laughs> we paid uh, one pound for this, and this set was going to go up for fourteen ninety nine. Yeah, it's quite cute, isn't it? And hopefully, um, be gone before Christmas. Yeah, but... card's a bit damaged, but it's yeah, still fixed it's still... to the card, which yeah. is quite nice. Yeah, but um, but no, that's that's nice. And so, while you're doing the next one, I'm just going to try and sneak around and get that other one. Okay, well, I'm going to go for this in the same shop that we got the Garfield items. Um, I saw one of these, um, this lovely sort of, it's a fisherman's, um, like a Toby Jug mug. Um, I picked it up and saw that it had, I think it's pronounced Kernowick, Kernowick, something like that. Um, recognise it was obviously a vintage brand and especially with the colouring it's got gorgeous sort of colouring to it um, and it was only a pound so I thought well we try not to pick up too many sort of fragile items but I knew that it would have some value to it so we got it so it's a pound we're going to put it up for 19 and see how we get on mm -hmm. it's gorgeous though isn't it it is lovely yeah I wasn't listening to any of them. No. I know, you're so <laughs> down. <laughs> right, the one I threw on the floor yeah, went off the back, back of the table. He's back. Um, who is it again? Is it Stitch? Stitch? Yeah, I think it is. Disneyland Paris again. Again, in, in Quite good condition. Very, very good condition. Decent size. But um, <laughs> we paid £3 for him. And we're going to be putting him up for nineteen ninety nine. Yeah. Hopefully it'll go before Christmas. Yeah. I've got another one of these. Must have been the same person collecting them who's donated them all to the shop. This is the watering can, the same sort of um, brand. And it was a pound, so we're putting this one up for 11 99 Doesn't have as much value as the, the fisherman's um, jug, mm. mug. Mug. But um, it's still nice for one pound and we're, let's say, put it up for 11 99 Hopefully get a tenner. Oh, oops! Not now. No. <laughs> can you reach that, my love? Shall I? Can you reach it? Oh, oh got look this. at that! Lovely. Big stretch. <clears throat> sort of enamely. Oh, it's a sort of enamel. I'm really dropping off. things today. It's <laughs> we haven't had enough coffee, man, have we? <laughs> yeah. All right. Look at that. I'm, I'm nervous. I'm going to drop it now. I'm trying it's to get it closer. It is lovely. It's like a, a sort of enamely type brass trinket box. Yeah. Nice size as well. Oh, blinding you. But yeah, very, very nice size. Um, was this, oh, this was the actual price, wasn't it? It wasn't a reduced Yeah, one I, I put it like down that. and then you looked at it and then I yeah. thought, oh, I was so diddling both, them. Yeah. So it's, it's, it is lovely. Uh, three pounds we paid for it, and I'm uh, going to put it up for sixteen ninety nine. Yeah, so I was hoping it was worth a bit more, but it's yeah. not too bad, is it? It's quite no, nice, it's, in a good condition. Very nice. Yeah, yeah. So I've got another one of these hung. Another Same one. Same collection. This one's got the sticker on. Ooh, Ooh. this is a seal, <laughs> um, and this was a pound, and we will be putting up for eleven ninety nine. Same sort of thing, hun. I mean, I've been a bit cheeky with this one because they they. I have seen solds go for more of this sort of seven to eight mark. Okay. But I'd like to get near a ten if we could. So we'll give it a go. Yeah, yeah. So we can shop. do, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I'm out over one? here. Did so... you want this one then? Oh, this got was another in, one. <laughs> this one was in the shop, but no, um, <coughs> no label on it. Well, when I've looked online, I think it's the same make. So I will do a bit more research right, before okay. we go for it. All right. um, but this was reduced to. This was reduced, yeah. yeah. So originally it was uh, three pound. They reduced it down to a pound. Mm. So this was um, in a different shop, but we saw it on the same day. So sort of, yeah. sort of thought, oh, that's very similar to what we've just picked up. Yeah. So we took a chance on it, and we but think it's it very is. nice. So what sort of thing would you use that for? I think that's it's the just... same sort of thing, like a plant pot, or, or yeah. put your scouring pads in, or something like that. It's probably a planter more than anything else yeah. because of the size of it. Yeah, um, I suppose. Yeah. 
But it's um, yeah, it's very oh. nice, isn't it? Mm, nice, isn't it? I'll try not to chuck this one very off the vintage, end of the table. Very vintage looking as well, isn't it? It's got that sort of era. Yeah, yeah. Um, one pound we paid, and we're putting up for fourteen ninety nine. Whether we'll get it there with the head in the, the head still that's, attached. That's the thing. The head needs a lot of support. <laughs> now, the last thing I think, hun, that we got from the shop. This is a different shop, wasn't it? This was these. I don't know if they're called tulip goblets because they've got this sort of um the shape here i don't know i need to do a bit more research mm. on them but they are like brass um sort of like champagne flutes aren't they really mm. they were four pound we took a bit of a chance didn't we because we don't know a lot about brass but we were aim for 18.99 and sort of hope for the best yeah i don't know really i don't know if they're old old i don't know they're quite nice though, aren't they a bit different yeah yeah very nice Oh, they've got a nice ring to them, haven't they? That's louder than my bongo jump. <laughs> yeah, it probably is a lot. Like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> but now I'm going to show you something that I bought and I've been a bit Sorry, tricky. you gave the oh, price on that, didn't I you? I think so, £4.18.99, yeah, just yeah, in case I missed it. Yeah, sorry. Something that I bought for myself and I got very, very excited, didn't I? You did. I haven't, I haven't been able to contain myself. I've been so excited to show you what it is because it was only £2 as well, so it's cheap. Mm. Cheap on that. But we were at the till, we paid for something. Paul always says to me, are you finished? I said, yeah, and then I have another the look. The usual thing. I can see in the corner of my eye. She's <laughs> still away. looking on things. <laughs> still, And uh, there's, there's been a few occasions, isn't there, when I've been paying at the till. Oh, oh can I quickly just put add this? this? Just add this. But then what I, now I sort of say to Paul, no, I'm done. I'm taking my glasses off, which is no, the <laughs> normal is the, thing yeah, that means I no. Because I can't see. <laughs> there's no more. But as I took my glasses off, I just caught in my eye line was this gorgeous picture. We don't look at pictures on the wall in charity shops, do we? No. We're always about the rails and... Anyway, yeah. let me show you. Because it's gorgeous. It's this gorgeous... Ooh, oh, look at that. Have I'll angle. have to get you to do it. Sorry, hang so, on a minute. Let me... Um, right. See our ring light set up there? Yeah, this... I don't know if you can pick it up in the um, picture there, but it's, it's all uh, embroidered... Um, thread and everything it's gorgeous it's a peacock in our living room i've got a nice peacock lamp and i've got um a peacock um pair of lamps like bedside yeah. not bedside lamps table lamps, table lamps. Um, that my lovely parents got me for my birthday for my 50th birthday last year um so we've got a bit of a peacock theme going on and then i spotted this gorgeous thing mm. i did have a quick look online just to make sure it wasn't worth a, a fortune because if it was we would have sold it <laughs> but it's it, they're only going for about 12 pound and i thought oh for that i'm keeping it yeah absolutely gorgeous i love all the coloring isn't it nice it is nice so yeah can't wait to put that up it's been there by the side of where it's gonna go because yeah. i wanted to show you all just to, so you could see how gorgeous it was Lovely, isn't it? Very pleased, hun. Excellent. Let's put that down then. Let me stop showing what I've got and um, better go through the prices, hun. Yes, you're the exciting bit for you. Ooh. Ooh. So we do like to go through the prices yeah. because if anyone new is watching our videos, we, we want to make it really clear that you can buy things and it appears that they are worth a lot of money, but there are a lot of fees and, and a lot of postage to, to be paid. So you can everything into consideration. When you sell anything, yeah. anywhere. Um, so, especially on eBay, you've got the fees, and all the fees have VAT as well. So, yeah. when you add it all up, it's quite a lot of money. So, we like to be honest about um, what we've bought, how much we've paid, and how much we, we are looking to get, and how much profit. Just so you are not um, thinking that that things, you know, you end up with lots and lots of money because you don't. No, no. Well, it's, sometimes you do. Yeah, sometimes <laughs> just, you do. Depends what you get. But it depends on what you get, but. You know, it's, um, yeah, we do like to, we work on a best case and a worst case scenario. So, um, mm -hmm. so yeah, no, shall we go through those? Let's things? go through that. So, we'll, let's start with how much we paid, hun, for all this we pay. amazing tax. How much for we pay? all of that, we pay. That's, uh, that's not bad, That's not bad, is it? it? £27.50. Yeah. So, that's not bad at all. It's rare to get anything for a pound in a charity shop, and we've been lucky enough to get uh, quite a few things for a pound. Yeah. So, it's, it's, it. it was good. Mm. Um, so this listing one value, listing yeah. value. So it's two hundred ninety-eight eighty-four is the total what we're actually going to list them for. Um, so if we work on that first, mm -hmm. so we, I just yeah, tell you I'll that. Just, sorry, I'm just going to no, go make point out that that equates to sixteen listings. Right. Okay. Carry on. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> um, right. So let's work, work it all out. So we've got. Um, 
if we base it on the full price of 298.84, we have the um, eBay fees, um, which are approximately, um, you have 11.9%, uh, that's the sort of an average, yeah. and then you plus VAT on top of that. And uh, we, there's also an order transaction fee, um, we, so every order you do on eBay is 30 pence plus VAT again, so that's 36p per, per transaction. Um, and uh, so the total fees on that for eBay would be £48.43, that's including VAT. Our postage costs would be approximately £64. Um, so total fees and postage would be £112.43. Already, look how much that's gone down by. Yeah, I know, it jumps down, doesn't it? And uh, so you take that off of the price of uh, 298.84, gives you 186.41, and then you need to take off what you purchased the items for. So that's 27 pound 50, gives you a best case profit of 158 pounds and 91 pence. Not too bad, huh? Not bad at all. When you look at it, yes, some of these things will need cleaning, so you do have to factor that in whenever you buy. If you're buying anything yeah. to then sell on, you know, your time, you have to value your time. Yeah, you so, do, um, but definitely, you have to value time. It does sound like that's a really healthy profit, and it Considering is. Considering from, you know, if, if everything sells at full price and you've got that, that profit there, you only spent £27.50 mm. and you've got £158 but back. So but it, the, um, the whole does, process does involve both of us. Does. Um, with the listing, the taking photos, the, mm. the packing, everything. So you just have to factor that in at your time to get all of these 16 items listed. You, you know. tend to, you, you do ideally need a mixture of two items, don't you? You need higher value, mm. bigger profit, as well as your bread and, bread and butter, butter, lower value, day, daily sale type ones. Mm. Um, but anyway, so... So I go, go through, through the, the worst case. The worst case, yeah. So this is if we, um, you know, with anything on eBay, we see how we're getting on the month. Most mm. months we do have a sale because we need to generate a bit more money. Um, so we look at the worst case being taken off about 30% because on a lot of items, people do like to sort of haggle it in a sense, don't they? they do, with yes. um, making offers yeah. and things like that. Yeah. So 30% would be the lowest we would sort of take. <clears throat> so we are going to knock that off of our £298.84 pence. That gives us £209.19p, and that's what we're going to start from. So now we take our fees off of that. So it's all the same fees, 11.9% with VAT, and the order transaction fee with VAT. So the fees now would be £35.63p. The postage is exactly the same, £64. So now our total fees and postage for those items, all at the 30% off, would be £99.63p. So if you minus that from the £209.19, that gives you a quite small £109.56p. So now if we take off the £27.50 that we spent, we now have a profit of £82.6p. And that's sort of what we're talking about at the beginning of this, um, the figures bit, is the, um, you know, that looks massively different to the £298.84p um, that we said everything was sort of being listed at. Yes. So when you yeah. break it down, there there is a vast difference between what you're listing it for and the actual profit you get for those items. And that is when everything is sold. If it's sold, worst case, which it won't. Yes, you, you get items. I mean, we say this most times, don't yeah. we, that you do sell some items at full price. Yeah. You do sell some items at slightly reduced price and obviously in a sale at quite a big reduction mm. and obviously some items no matter what you do will not sell mm. and you have to just get rid of them either redonate or you know one way or another you have to write them off so you have to take that into consideration as well mm. um, so that's why we tend to do the the best case worst case yeah and then what we found is it tends to be in the middle of that so our worst case profit of 8206 and the best case of 15891 we would probably be looking at about the 120 mark yeah, something like that realistically yeah i think so um, that's the sort of profit um, that we would expect to get yeah we do try and aim for a three times the amount that we have laid out so mm. um 27 pound 50 times 3 would be 82 pound 50 so we've almost hit that with the everything with the worst selling case, worst case yeah, so yeah, that's it. 
you know, we were lucky that we the charity mm. shops that we were in had a few pound items. They and, did have some, some good deals. And some of those pound items are, are worth, you know, a fair amount. Mm. So very lucky in that respect. Um, but yes, it's it's not been too bad, is it? We've got quite a few items there. Yeah. Nice lot to, to list. Yeah, very pleased. Keep us going. Keep us going. That's exactly it. It's, uh, yeah. Yeah. So I think more gonna... items to work on. <laughs> it's that time of year where you obviously want to um, try and sell as much as possible. So it's, um, it's that time of year. It's, it's, it's list, list, list. Yes. Sell, sell, sell. So these this will all be on within a couple time. of days because oh, yeah. um, that's our aim is to try and shift as much before Christmas while while the demand is still there. That's it. But yeah. out of these items here, probably um, a third of them will sell within the first month if we're lucky mm. another third might be in the next three or four months and then some mm. we'll have in still have in two or three years time so this is <laughs> you know where you do have to make sure you're very aware of your profit because not everything sells and not everything sells quickly i mean i don't know about two or three years time well, we, we are trying in the past we have had them for we'll have retired by then yeah <laughs> <laughs> we wish <laughs> yeah so, no sometimes you do have things that will just you never find that buyer yeah. No matter how much you chip away at them, that's um, it. They um, they just sit there and sit there and you know. Well, that's when you have to start thinking about writing something off. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. So, yes. are we ending on that bit then? On the that's depressing, isn't it? Writing it off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, no. No, it's the reality of reselling, though. Yes. Is that not everything? Not everything is in popular demand. Um, we've got to try and find the person who wants that guinea pig service. I know, that's, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's in great condition. You couldn't leave it. That's no, the thing. but it's For a quirky pounds, present, though, isn't it? You yeah. know, if you've got if you've got pets, people do love to spend money on their pets. So you never. That's going to be the first thing that flies out. Uh, yeah, yeah, it will that. be. Yeah, that's it. So, as always, we want to thank you for taking your time to watch our videos. It really does help us and support us and yes. keep us going. Yes, definitely, it? it does. So, thanks ever so much. Yes, thank you. Thank you for taking the time to watch our video and if you liked our content please like and subscribe to our channel subscription is free oh. all you've got to do is press that little red subscribe button oh. and then press the bell icon and you'll be notified for our future videos thanks for watching thank you